what is up my youtube buddy so yeah if you see me smiling from ear to ear finally we got it done we've been out there so many times i have shot a ton of pigs over the past four or five years i am not the pig whisperer don't get me wrong but when you get spoiled on shooting them whenever you want uh it's tough when you don't get to we've been out that place i've been out there probably seven eight times shot one pig and a couple other times we saw them come in but they got spooked and we finally got it done yesterday a little bit of intro right here uh, i'm going to show you some of the video out the ranch show you the kill shot through the site mark wraith and at the end of the video i'm going to kind of go over a little bit more of you know the ammo the gun a little bit more on the wraith and this is a catch clean cook so we're going to cook it up some way somehow i don't know just yet i'm either going to deep fry some back straps or i'm going to stuff them with cream cheese wrap them in bacon i don't know yet but anyway let's get to the video so what's up y'all we are at my buddy's ranch again we're gonna try to put some pigs on the ground we've got pigs coming to every feeder pretty regularly but if you guys been watching how many times we come out here and uh, all of a sudden pigs don't show on the way out to him we got some good gang trails and i'm gonna get a i'm gonna kind of zoom in and show you uh, some of these pig tracks that's a big old pig i'll show you some pictures too and look at the size of that mark i don't really know if it's doing it justice but there's my hand that's a put down here like i said they're uh they're all over here so uh it's hot it's humid mosquitoes are gonna tear us up but we're gonna help him put a he built a brand new blind we're gonna go back there and help him put that up we're gonna kind of hang out him and his boy another friend and his boy and me uh my boy aka the sniper he's at home chilling out uh that football game so he's still tired beat up big old lineman taking some break plus he's got some workouts to do so anyway we're gonna do some hunting so y'all stick around so we did some messing around today help get a help his buddy get his blind set up went and did some shooting sighting in some rifles i didn't video any of the of the shooting or the uh putting the blind up because they got young kids and not everybody likes having their young kids on video you got to respect that but anyway i'm heading to the blind right now to get in get set up and i will see you there it is hot man it's gonna film a little bit getting inside the blind and get set up but my god it's hot fear's supposed to go off here in the next 15 20 minutes Picture show them some days coming before, right at, a little after. I've got my, I don't know if you can see it or not, got my sight mark scope on uh, with the night vision. So I'm going to actually be filming any shots I take through the gun as well. Uh, let you guys see the, let you guys see the damage or the miss. Boy, that, uh, that wind that's blowing through, whew, that is a savior southeast wind blowing right right in my face got nothing against us for the pigs tonight other than earlier today we were putting this blind up uh, we had a lot of activity going out right in the middle of where the two blinds are they come to a lot friends had their boys having a good old time uh, riding their four wheelers around and and uh, having a good old time just boys being boys um, that noise might have spooked them because they bad Right up on the other side of these in these in these uh in these trees the brush line so yeah no big deal it's a good thing we're 143 yards away the winds in our face and pigs can't hear real good because uh i just took a deep breath i think i sucked in a hummingbird we had some deer come out uh Looked like there might have been some pigs up on the back side of the brush line, kind of circling around. Uh oh. This sneaky doe come right alongside of me. Probably 10 yards off the blind, just looking at me. Sneaky. Just trying to pull a fast one on me. So, if you see, I've got this wire right here, it goes into the sight mark. I could run it off of this little battery pack all night. I just got a 10 foot cable, kind of wrap around the IR light, IR light and a little bit of the scope itself. That way something happens, something falls or trips. I don't 
pull that plug and damage that little uh, insert where it goes in. So, but yeah, you do this, you can run all night. Well, I absolutely just stoned one. It happened so fast. Of course, it was after dark. I do have it on video uh, in the scope, but that old sight mark, that 223, just stoned it. Good old size bore right there. I absolute stoned him. What do you see the footage? Shot placement. This don't get no better now. That's a big boy. Good Lord Almighty. Big boy, big boy. I don't have a scale. May not even eat this one, he's big. Pulled those back straps off yesterday. Uh, that was a big old stinky boar. I just went in the mood of messing with it. You can soak them hams and shoulders in uh, vinegar to actually tender them up. And uh, then you can put them in buttermilk for a couple days and it'll draw that gaminess out. It really will. It's a lot of work, didn't feel like messing with it. But anyway, real quick, look at these back straps. Look at the fat cap on that on that big old boar. I mean, he was he was stout. He was fat. I mean, he wasn't just a big old mean uh, lean boar. He was fat, round. The picture really don't do it justice. I mean, it was a big old blob. Like I said before, I had to make sure it wasn't one of the small calves because he was a big boy. We actually weighed him. Uh, my buddy had a scale up there. He was a little over 250 pounds. We couldn't get him all the way off the ground. His head was still touching the ground. Uh, we lost a lot of headroom up there between uh, the gimbal and the scale. So he was over 250 pounds and he wasn't all the way off the ground yet. So I was projecting probably about 260, 265. That was my guess. Uh, if I'm wrong, I don't care, whatever. But anyway, there's my setup. The old Palmetto State Armory, Sight Mark Wraith, two by 16 by 28. Death Grip Bog Pod, if you don't have one of these, get one of these. These are just outstanding tripods uh, for the money. And Hornady Black uh, 62 grain FMJ. Everything here, guys, is what I call blue collar uh, hunting gear. This is not your most expensive gun. This is not your most expensive uh, scope. This is not your most expensive uh, tripod, but it's all affordable and it is all rock solid. Anyway, that's all my hunting stuff. I'm gonna get inside and uh, Still haven't figured out how I'm gonna cook that pig yet, but by the time we get uh, to the next scene, I'll have figured it out. 
All right, so I made up my mind. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just deep fry these back straps. We're not gonna stuff them and wrap them in bacon because we actually got some bacon wrapped jalapenos we're gonna do tonight as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim these up, cut them in small slices. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put these in a plastic bag with some spice, let them marinate for 20, 30 minutes. Throw some uh, flour on them, throw them in the deep fry. Check that out. Laser engraved HAB Outdoors. So what we're gonna do with these, like I told you, instead of taking the, the hammer somewhere over there, the tenderizer hammer, got this needle tenderizer. And uh, just simply poke it a few times, flip it around the other way, poke it, it'll break up the muscle fibers. All right, so we're done poking. What I like about doing this needle tenderizer Helps keep the shape of it better. Usually when you start mashing them out, it flattens them out and uh, don't look too good and it makes them real thin. So anyway, my favorite seasoning, if you guys hadn't tried it, it's awesome. It is the gospel. It is from meat church, all purpose rub, mainly for chicken and pork. Just take it, come pour it in there. Close the bag, real simple. Roll it around. Open it up. Looks like you want some more. Put a little bit more in there. Put one more turn. It's good and mixed. Now you can kind of take all the air out the best you can. Put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Be right. Look at that. There they soak in all that. Spice, nice and red. Take you a handful, put in some flour. I put some uh, garlic powder, traditional seasonal. Mix it up. Go ahead and drop her in. I like using the wok because it's thin, grease gets hot pretty fast. Now you don't want to cook these too long, but you also want to make sure you cook them all the way through. You always make sure you want to get any wild game cooked through. So I got it at a medium high. Got some leftover peanut oil. That ought to cook pretty good. Don't disturb them too much. Just kind of move them around a little bit. Looks like the grease is a little hot. Cut it down just a little bit. This is still right about where it needs to be. I like using this spoon here versus tongs that way I can scoop them out. Again, it doesn't take long, so we'll go ahead and take these out now. These look good. Good color, lay it right there. lay them out what we'll do real quick just to make sure take my digital thermostat here let's poke one in the middle oh yeah at least 160 oh yeah these are well past doesn't mean they're tough that just means they're done it's going in like butter pretty soft so real quick well the last bit of it is uh frying up make sure guys when you cook this stuff Make sure you wipe everything down. I have the Clorox wipes. Anytime you're dealing with pork, chicken, you really want to make sure you clean that stuff up. We all know what happens when you don't clean up very good after using pork and chicken, man. You can catch uh, some bad stuff, and we don't want to do that. So I'm going to let these finish up real quick, uh, show you what came out of it. I'm not going to make a full catch, clean, cook video. Kind of ran out of time. Don't want to drag the video along. Got some other stuff going on. But wanted to show you just, uh, you know, pop that pig in the old brain, cook some back straps, and... Have a good time. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys have seen how to uh, take back strap and fry it. If you haven't, maybe it's a cool little video to show you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at all them fried back straps. 
medallions, whatever you want to call it, nuggets. Either way, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. All right, y'all, well, so there is our somewhat catch, clean, and cook video. Kind of last minute thing, I thought about it last night. On the way home, I was like, you know what? We hadn't had uh, back straps in a while. Didn't want to save anything else from that pig. He's just so big and tough. I figured, you know what, but I will take the back straps. They came out very tender. Awesome. So, hey, I'm smiling from ear to ear because I finally got the monkey off my back out there at that place. It's been a while. Put the old pig down right in the medulla alangata. We had a good time. Showed you how we like to cook our back straps. It's one or two ways. We either stuff it with cream cheese and wrap it with the bacon and put it in the oven or the grill, or we just cut little meat medallions, little nuggets, and fry them up. We're gonna make some uh, mashed taters and gravy. That's how we're gonna wind up eating it, just a quick little meal. So I'm not gonna drag this video out any longer. If you made it this far, appreciate you guys. If you like what you see, remember, please like, subscribe, share our channel. We're only growing because of you guys. Shout out to Chris for letting me come out to your ranch and shoot a pig. My buddy Justin for helping us get it up last night. It's a pain, long story, but anyway, we got it back up uh, to the trailer, hung it up, took pictures, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's the end of the video. Appreciate you guys. As always, every chance you get, wet a line, let a narrow fly, and put some rounds down range. We'll see y'all next time.